For this one, I'm going to be using a little bit of a hybrid drop C tuning here. Um, kind of a just real lazy drop C. We're, we're going to keep everything the same, but we're just going to take that low E string and drop it down to the C. We'll keep the A, D, G, B, E under it. So we'll just end up with C, A, D, G, B, E. Um, it's kind of a real quick way to get like the, the low C bass note stuff we need without having to take every string down and all that jazz. So uh, low C up top, and that'll get us all our, our nice like bass synth stuff. Um, for these initial kind of like synth intro things that are happening, um, it's that first kind of sequenced high couple notes. And for those, we're just going to come way up here. We go B string, E string, 15 on the B, 17 E. All right, and this is all just kind of like, you just like down strum hit these, you know, maybe try to get them a little choppy sounding give, so it's more like synth vibes, but uh, just kind of hitting them like eighth note style, that's fine. Okay, and you crank out about like three sets of four, so like 12 hits on those. And then we keep it going for about three more, and that last fourth hit, we just drop it down to 13 and 15 just for that one little hit, and then we get right back to the 15, 17. Okay. Uh, and now for, you know, once the, the bass synth comes in, um, it's basically four chords that cycle here. Um, overall, it's like a D minor to C, then like a G sus two thing, B flat to A. Uh, for this, uh, just to get kind of like the bass synth vibes, I just kind of do some octaves and it works pretty good. Um, you don't, you know, unless you're trying to just do like some interpreted, you know, acoustic style strumming or something. Uh, I just like to stick to like some bass octaves here. So with this dropped low E to C, we do a two on the low C here to get that D note. And you can just hit the octave with the open D string there. And just kind of like lightly mute the A string by you know having your finger just touching it. If you leave it open, it's cool. It's just a power chord, but I don't really want that dynamic yet. So I just do the low D on the second fret of the C here, and then the open middle D. And just single hit, let it ring. Oh, don't want to hit that G. All right, it's like a, a measure. And then we just come off to the low C, so hit the open low C string and then do the octave at the three of the A. And then we come up to the 7 on the low C with the 5 on the middle D here for the G. And with this one, uh, right after that, we come up and do these kind of closer chords. 10 on the low C, 8 on the middle D. Hit that twice, B flat. And then just down a fret to the 9 and 7 at the A for a hit. And just cycle that thing. Now for like the cool synth line that comes in, we go way up high here, need at least 20 frets, so I just barely got it here. Um, playing around with like just the D through high E here, go 17 on the D, 18 on the high E, 17 D, 20, 18 on the B, hold that a moment, and then we go the 17 D, 19 G, 18 B. Okay, 17D, couple 19s on the G. All right, and drop down to 15D, 15G, 17D, and then 19, 17G. So slowly. Eventually we get to the bridge section, and with this, I kind of like to unleash the power chord a bit. If you want to put a little bit of overdrive on it too, it's cool. Um, kind of a more raspy synth that comes in, so just hit the, the D power chord, so two on the low C, open A, open D. And we just hit it, let it ring, and then we wrap it up with a couple hits on the B flat power chord, so one A, three on the D and G, and just go right back to it. And 
by the second time around, like another synth comes in and it's just kind of hanging out on some bass notes here. Uh, just the D note, two on the low C, once, once, couple. Just hang for a second. Go two, five, two. Okay, two, two, couple twos closer. And then wrap it up with two on the low C, open A, one, five on the low C. Okay, a little bit of a stretch there. Um, and that repeats. There's a little bit there where like, where we go the two, five, two, you could do it like twice. Something like that, all right? It's kind of like every other time through, you could throw that little switch in there. Um, other than that, we get to uh, the end and we get a new little synth lead there. And it's playing more with like octaves with the A and G string here. So we would go still pretty high. We go 17 A, 19 G. Drop that down to 15 A, 17 G. Okay, bring the bass note back to the, the 17 A and we kind of invert it now. We go 17 A, keep that uh, 15 on the G. Okay, then we shift the bass note down to 15 on the A, hit the 14 on the G, so a little different shape, back to the 15 A. And then finish it with 15, 17. So try that slowly here. matter of getting that up to speed and after that a lot of the parts are you know just kind of repeated throughout the song so once you get that you should have it all pretty much squared away and be all set <laughs>